Perfect. All right. Uh, let me go sit down. Put my coffee over here. What are the scary birds? The scariest. Of... Guys, you saw the list. You gotta have the scary bird. Yeah, I, didn't know. I did see the list. I didn't think it was. I would look at it. Uh, I wanted to just complain about it. Later. Well, no, that's fair. That's mainly why this show exists, just for complaining. Uh, folks, welcome to Thank You Very Much. I'm your host, Joe Bates. Guys, we've got a fantastic show. Uh, two uh, special guest experts, as always. For today's topic, Worst Bird. And folks, to the left of me, we have a uh, professor in birdology, uh, Mr. Gabe Kia. That's right. Gabe, I thought that was called ornithology. Yeah, birdology is uh, when you talk to someone... It's the language spoken between two people after they smoke weed. So that's my expertise, birdology. Does that does that have anything to do with birds? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because like you gotta smoke. You gotta smoke to chill out to watch birds. You know. <laughs> I feel I feel like I feel like you got on a show you didn't think you were about to get on. No, no. I I'm talking okay. about birds. All right. But you gotta be high too. Well, that's what that coffee's made of. The coffee yeah. is made of pure weed. What? It's weed grinds. No, no. Weed beans. Oh, no. Is that how they make weed with beans? Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep. Birdology. <laughs> Told you. Expert. Uh, <laughs> to the right of me, folks, you may know him as a director of one of the better documentaries out there. Uh, Big Bird, the boy behind the feathers, Mr. Connor Delahanty. Hey, folks. Hey, hey. Connor, when you, what inspired you to make the documentary about Big Bird? Well, you know, I just met the kid. And <laughs> you just met the kid? No, I, I met the kid and we were just, you know, we were just at a party. It was, one of the, it was a kid's birthday party and this kid came up to me and we were talking. I was like, what do you do? And this kid's like 6'8". Like, <laughs> Long legs. Yeah, he's 6'8", yeah, he's <laughs> but he's like 13. And I'm like, what, do you play ball or anything? He's like, no, actually, I'm Big Bird. <laughs> And I was like, how did you get into that? Did you want to do that? And he was like, no, I just wanted to be a kid on the show. And then they were like, we got to put you in the suit. Yeah, we don't want free kids. So he's just doing his job his, the whole time. He's just watching kids do the job he really wanted. So it was just a sad story, and I just thought I'd... Uh, yeah, I think that I, I watched... I uh, thought I had to cover it. I, I met, a, met a really fat kid with a floppy mouth. He played Cookie Monster. It was really... <laughs> <laughs> just a real floppy mouth, that kid. Uh... <laughs> Uh, folks, and as always, behind me is the list of worst birds we'll be talking about. Uh, I'll go through it right now. The blue-footed booby, the dodo bird, the heron, the pigeon, the tufted titmouse, the grackle, the swan, the chicken, the ostrich, the Canadian geese, or the Canadian goose. That's the only plural one for some reason. I wasn't thinking. And seagulls. Oh, plurals. seagulls and seagulls. Don't worry, we have two plurals. and everyone Those else are so is... bad, they're all bad. They're and all is, bad. Is ostrich the... The same for singular and plural, or is it ostriches? I think it's ostri. <laughs> <laughs> um, but folks, if you think we're missing a worst bird, feel free to comment. Feel free to call in on bid chat. Let us know what you think. Uh, always ready to listen to you guys and hear out what you gotta say. Cause, you know, I, I love every one of you guys watching. I love me, most of you. To you. But let's get on the list. We'll start off with everybody's favorite thing, the veto round, where we go through the list and take things off that we don't think is the worst bird. And as always, we start with the youngest person here, Mr. Gabe Kia. The youngest, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd say one to take off right away. My, right away. My, uh, I'd go with, I'd go with the heron. Why the heron? I, I don't know why that would be a worst bird. It's a, it's, it's a tall bird. They they're very peaceful. They don't bother. They they eat fish. They don't eat other birds. Some of these birds eat other birds. That's like cannibalism. That's kind uh, of like and it's the like heron birds. Yeah, the heron is. I, it's graceful. It's like got a long wingspan. I like the heron. I will say this. I read this. I did some research before the show. The heron, also called the shit poke. The shit, shit poke. The shit poke because when you grab it or touch it, it yeah. shits. It just defecates everywhere. Oh, that's his defense mechanism. That's his defense mechanism. Why isn't it called the shit grab then? Well, I don't think I'm not a <coughs> like sailor from the seven it, it shits? If you, if you touch it, it just shits. Man, that's a weird defense mechanism. It's kinda like your your it's kinda like your daughter early on in her in her, in her career. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah my daughter early on she was a real shit poke. That's how it used to be like yeah, this 
this girl. <laughs> Every time you tickle her, <laughs> she's a rookie. Look at it. You fill her diapy. And we call it a diapy. <laughs> we call it. A... Did her shit stats get her contract extension? <laughs> <laughs> her, her shit's above replacement was by far. <laughs> yeah, what's the efficiency on that? <laughs> what are the advanced stats? <laughs> all right, we're taking Heron off the list. You can, you can shit all you want, but you're not going to shit on this list. Thing. You see what I did? Okay, Heron's off the list. Oh. Connor Delahanty. Oh. You're up next. What do you think is not the worst bird? I'm going to take chicken off. Why are you taking chicken off? I think chicken just, I mean, it just does so much for the rest of like Chicken's yummy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I so feel like that's the yummy. only step. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's yummy. It was a Maybe large swan. It, Swan's pretty good. <laughs> it was a large, large plot point in the Back to the Future series. Because he can't get called a chicken. <laughs> The these, are good, these, are good points. these are good points. <laughs> so maybe not like Delicious. a living chicken, but overall... The, the idea of a chicken. Yeah. The essence of a chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken soup is good for the soul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's no there's no wild chicken whiskey, right? There's no wild chicken. <laughs> it's a domesticated bird. Yeah, they're all pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Trained at home, chicken Trained whiskey. Home. <laughs> it's all our pets. And then we eat it. Everything tastes like chicken. It's the... It's the foundation. Were you the one telling me that someone had a pet raccoon? Um, I, my family had a pet raccoon. That they stuffed? Oh, no. No, no, no. Somebody said they had a pet raccoon, and then when it died, or near the last two years, they just locked it in their room, because it was too wild, and they didn't want to kill it, so they just gave it a room of the house. What? And then when it died, they stuffed it, and it was like, ah. Why? I feel like there's just way easier with, why not just feed it like <laughs> rat poison or something? <laughs> Well, I don't think they wanted to kill it. That's what it's not. Oh, they just wanted They're to die. They're slowly plotting its death. Two years. <laughs> what do we do? They're so, writing a script called The Room, <laughs> and someone else stole this? that idea. The raccoon. The raccoon. <laughs> so what, they just had it, like, sequestered, mm. like... Yeah, they gave it a part of the house. Like a... Like a mongoloid brother in the <laughs> time or something like that? Like some Jane Eyre shit? <laughs> yeah, they Jane Eyre him. They chain aired that raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Think about, that, think about that though. How many raccoons have their own room? For two yeah. Years? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking like it's an outcast raccoon. That raccoon is a lucky raccoon. That like raccoon. most other raccoons, he's like making fun of homeless he's raccoons. raccoons. <laughs> he's like, look at these raccoons out there digging for garbage. I don't pay rent. <laughs> I don't pay rent. <laughs> I think raccoon taxes. Uh, we shouldn't have to pay them. Ah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the 1% of raccoons, otherwise known as the R. Um, chicken off the list. Chicken off the list. I'm up next, folks. Worst bird. And I, I looked, I was, you know, I did some research about these birds, and one of them really is just on it uh, for absolutely no reason, and that's the blue footed booby. It's a marine bird that just has blue feet. Mm -hmm. That's literally all it is, which makes it awesome in my. Blue-footed birds. Oh, marvel! I had to read. I remember in like fifth grade, <laughs> I had to read in a science book. There was an excerpt about the blue-footed booby. Yeah. And like, so we were going around, and everybody would read a paragraph, and I just had to read the paragraph about the blue-footed booby, and I could not get through. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I kept laughing, and I got in so much trouble. <laughs> That's so funny. Blue feet yeah. is a funny term. I, I was call like, this for the booby. I was just like blue-footed. <laughs> My tooth, Connor. I was like, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would breast be better? No, it's, no, that's not the name of it. Blue-breasted booby. No. <laughs> Blue-footed titty. Blue-footed titty. No, oh, the, yeah, I think I think that that bird got on there because of its name, which mm -hmm. is cute and adorable. Yes. And very misogynist too. So. Well, I, I think the world needs a little bit more than 27. <laughs> right? Yeah. Am I right? Oh, Am I not right? The not, blue footed booby. Oh, it's, did you not know I'm the wokest person in Brooklyn? That's <laughs> you're, what I keep, you're broke. That's what I keep telling everybody in my neighborhood. <laughs> I'm the wokest I'm, person in Brooklyn. I'm the wokest one. I get called the SJW online. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I had to Google it. Oh, I was yeah. like, what am I doing in my spare time? <laughs> oh, I'm a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Is I'm a warrior. A, my weapon is kindness. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a warrior for the libtard nation. I will say that Gabe, we're all snowflakes here. Gabe, la- you very much. Gabe last night on the show paid an audience member to hug him. What? I, I told them. <laughs> so that is the wokest person I could think of. I told him I'd give him five bucks, and I I hugged him after the show, <laughs> and I paid him five dollars, and he took it. He took the five dollars in his someone that was in his group. Some girl came back and was like, "We're not taking your money. Here's your five dollars back." <laughs> Wait, why? That's the big question. Because because I would, I would that's how excited I was to hug him that I was I was also going to give him money to. After the hug. Why That's this what. person specifically? Or you just wanted any hug? No, he was being re- he was really good throughout the whole show. So he was a guy that I liked. Oh, so okay. I was paying audience members off basically <laughs> to say, "You guys should act more like this guy." I'm going to pay him and hug him. You will watch. You just watch. Audience members would be better if they knew that was on the table. Uh, yeah. yeah. All the, was, oh my god! If an audience member in the audience, if they were good and they acted like a good audience member because they were going to get paid by like a gold star, you treat it like kindergarten. He was, no, he was, I mean, he was, and remember everybody, if you act really well, we'll pay one of you five dollars. <laughs> it wouldn't even be like the amount of money, it'd just be like winning something that they were like. <laughs> the trophy. Like, that's way better than doing a raffle at the end and giving away <laughs> free tickets for, for some shit. <laughs> so how that happened was, I was just very appreciative of him, and I was trying to express my appreciation <laughs> And that came out in the form of, I want to hug you, and I want to give you money. <laughs> and I was like, what am I doing? There's never been anything more white male than, I'm so desperate to let you know how I like you. I want to touch you and pay you money. Like, that's... <laughs> that's <laughs> so... Why we got to bring race into it? Oh, sorry. I don't know what Gabe identifies as. <laughs> yeah. Gabe, what do you identify as? Uh, mostly Canadian. Yeah. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> I identify as <laughs> Abe Lincoln. Gabe Lincoln. Yeah, Zoom type. Oh, classic French phrase. Uh, okay, I'm up next. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to go here. Oh, I took the boobie yeah. for the booby. Yeah, we talked about we, the booby. We got... <laughs> That's one booby for man and one blue for the booby. For... Uh, we got one more veto round coming up, folks. Another Ooh. round of vetoes, folks. Ooh, another round of vetoes. We're taking some of these birds that don't need to be on this list. They're not the yeah. worst bird at all. They're nice. They're nice little... They're nice little uh, uh, fauna out there, you know? Those are the cats. Too many uh, cats in this fucking place. A lot of cats. There's 18 cats in this house. Uh, no. Uh, Gabe, you're up next. What are you continuing to take off the list as not the worst bird? Not the worst bird? And I would the say... Um, well, the ostrich is... The least woke of all those birds, right? He's always so that that means it's not the worst. Uh, no, it's 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 probably one of the worst. I don't, <laughs> I don't know much about the Things. tuft. <laughs> no, the tuft titmouse, but I think it's up there for much the same reason that the blue footed booby was up there. It's it's got a ill uh, ill fitted name for it with the titmouse. It also can do. It's a songbird, so it can do songs. In one place, that makes it sound like it's coming from farther away. It can throw its voice. Oh, oh, really? like, oh wow! Yeah. It's like the it's like the Jeff Dunham of the bird. It's a bird quillitus. Bird quillitus. That's a way better trick than shitting when you get touched. It's way better trick. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, you're gonna learn <laughs> the X Men of birds. Yeah. <laughs> well, that I I like the uh, I like that. So uh, that's my that's my vote. Is the tuft titmouse? We took a boob and a, a tit out. We took a boob and a tit out real early. <laughs> Tufted tit titmouse. Well thought out. I appreciate that theory. I, 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 these songbirds, they say they're the most beautiful of all birds. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, sweet. Be- sound, beautiful what? sounding. Beautiful, beautiful sound. sounding. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why it's a songbird. Well, they're beautiful looking too. Sometimes I think geese are sounding birds. Yeah. yeah their, 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 their music is. <laughs> <laughs> What is that, like ska or something? <laughs> That's ska, yeah, they're the ska songs. Geese and Jake. They're, they're the ska of the birds. Like, I guess this is uh, music. <laughs> the Mighty Mighty Goose Tones. <laughs> Other bands. Um, Connor, you're up. What one is um, not the worst bird for you? I'm going to take off uh, Swan. Swan! Ooh. Swan's got a good dive. The luxury goose. Um, and then 
Isn't that ugly duckling turns into a swan? Ugly duckling turns into yeah, a swan. Yeah, helping the ugly kids learn that one day you might grow out. It's letting them know that puberty might be good for you. So that not that just building the thing that the goal is to be beautiful? Yeah. What are we are we not pro objectification? The wokest guy in Brooklyn. <laughs> Wokest guy. <laughs> you better be good looking or get out of New York. I'm, it's like, not I'm, that I'm is so woke. I'm woke. against diversity. I'm, I'm like so woke. I'm against. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, the same. I'm ahead of the curve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're so woke. You're against diversity. So everyone's mm-hmm. look exactly the same. Yeah. And act, that's fair. That's no fair. races, no gender. Just, you know, if everyone is just one race, one day we will be. One day I think, like our. The time we live in now is going to be looked at as so racist, just because eventually there will be no races, and they'll be like, "You, you called them African Americans? You, you guys were racist. Like it's going to be like that." <laughs> you think we're going to make it that far? I yeah, think it's, I think something's going to happen before then. Oh, I doubt the world's going to end. I, I don't think it's going to be like uh, us. I just think something. Well, it could be. Uh, it could be. I mean, man. it might be like Mad Max. No the way. Water world. Right. Mm-hmm. I think. Well, I think we get gills before Mad Max happens. Yeah. I think. I think we're gonna lose some of the coasts. Honestly, we will get gills. Didn't we used to have gills? Wow. Well, you think it's gonna like circle back around? We're gonna go back to gills. We're gonna devolve into a, a pure being. What you think? Evolution goes retro. <laughs> I think evolution is a sinusoidal wave. <laughs> Just oh, there's a cat on me. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, cat? What do you think about birds? Mm. I like watching them in the window. <laughs> How do these cats have names? They both look the same. There's no way you can tell these cats. Oh, the jaw. The, the jaw? The jaw. That's the jaw. The tongue's always hanging out. In the first order. But, you know, I guess you don't see differences in people, Connor. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Everybody's the same. I don't know. All cats, <laughs> all cats are one Is race. there another roommate in the house? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, I'm up next here. Man, there are some, these birds suck. All right, I don't. You know, I'm gonna take this one off because I feel like it's already been through enough. Uh, because it's extinct. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna take the dodo bird off the list. It, it can't be the worst bird. It's already dead. It's all dead. All of them are dead. They're not coming back, folks. They're not coming back. There's no more dodo birds. They're done. And that's too much, all right? They don't need to also win this list of worst bird. Just because something's extinct doesn't mean it's the worst. Yeah, and also, yeah, that's kind of shitty to be like, hey, you're not for this world anymore, but you're still the worst. <laughs> you're still the worst. <laughs> we still think you're the worst. Although, I and we're feel, glad you're gone. <laughs> I do feel that way about my grandma, so I guess that's really? not, Yeah, she's a kind of a she's kind of a jerk. Just a mean old lady. She's yeah. a mean old lady to my old my mom. You have a mom? Yeah. You have a mom? Yeah, I got a mom. Yeah, those are nice people. Yeah, mine's, uh, she, she can get a bit snippy. She's a good girl. Well, a little snippy. You know, I always get snippy, all those moms out there. But to me, I, I think they're all the same. See? Do you have a grandma? You have a grandma. Do you have a grandma? Both my grandma. I got one dead. grandma left, that's it. I've got zero grand. Yeah, both my grandmas. Right? And my grandfather dead, too. Mine, too. My grandma and grandma on my dad's side died before it. Oh, he's getting choked <laughs> up. I'm choking. Oh, little. my gosh. What is this, Mark Aaron? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my gra- Man, he's the worst human. He's gonna fucking die. <laughs> he's gonna be dead. The worst podcast host. Um, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I can't. I'm choking a little bit. Gosh, you really Talk about your <laughs> what, What's the bird? The, the dodo bird is extinct. There's a bird that was it the passenger pigeon? Is that one that recently was extinct too? I think there was. They were like, I don't know about them. <coughs> is it Pat? Is that? Uh, I'm thinking of something else. Maybe. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, you're so Canadian. So, such a Canadian apology right there. Are I'm going to have to look right at though. Maybe you shouldn't waste your air on trying to make fun of <coughs> Gabe's heritage. It was, it was worth it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> the last word. Hey, now you're talking to my language. Brutality there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I think I just had an allergy attack or something. I don't know. Is that what happens? Allergy attacks? I mean, they come in different forms. Yeah, just like... My allergies like, just all my eyes. It was as if, like, my nasal canal to my throat, it just got real dry all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Just super dry. You want me to spray something up there? Do you have spray? 
No, I mean, we could, there's lighter fonts in this Which house. is via the spray? Any random spray? I mean, this, this apartment has everything. I just, there's just the concept a concept manifesto sitting out there. I bet there's nasal spray in here somewhere. Yeah, okay, well, now the cops know. I don't know uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the passenger pigeon is extinct. Uh, the last one was at the Cincinnati Zoo. So that's Ooh. my that's my hometown. And did they take a did they take a bullet for Harambe? Is that what happened? <laughs> Part of the, oh so boy, that, <laughs> let's call Mora. <laughs> that's no, don't. She doesn't want to hear about. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about the passenger. Pigeon. She doesn't want to talk about the passenger pigeon or Harambe. She's not. Uh, yeah, Jordan Dive is just letting everybody know who cares. Who cares? Yeah, that's a Jordan Dive. Jordan, reaction. you're the one watching. Just click off. Just click off, Jordan. Just click. Nobody likes you. Oh, we're getting some likes now. There we go. It's all there for we Jordan. Go. Oh, it's all and for Jordan. And now they're sad faces. Sad, <laughs> is that all Jordan? Doing yeah, it's all Jordan. Oh, my God. He leaned in. He leaned in hard on those reactions. Uh, I'm glad you're having a fulfilling <laughs> Saturday, Jordan. Yeah. It looks like you're the sad guy, Jordan, right? Did I get him? Did I get him? You got, you got him. him. You, I, got, you got, 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 you got, you get got bit. Oh, it's still sad it. faces coming? Uh, <laughs> still sad faces. Oh, there's an angry, here, now it's angry. some thankful flowers. There's angry. They, yeah. they got well, the thankful flowers are dead. Yeah, like, like the, the dodo passenger. bird. Like, like the, the dodo bird. The lightning stink. stink, Jesus Christ. The worst reaction, thankfuls. Um, there was, there was a lady on Facebook who wrote, what's the purple flower mean? It's like my favorite basic most I ever saw. <laughs> clearly says it if you just click on the thing. Yeah, it says it, yeah. Oh, man. She but I love people that ask Facebook questions. That's the best <laughs> thing about Facebook. It's like, hey, people, what are what are good live podcasts to listen to? <clears throat> How do I share my own post? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, fellow comedians, what's your process? <laughs> yeah. How do I get booked around the country? <laughs> Does anyone have the, the one email that sends it out to all the clubs? Is there <laughs> yeah. club at gmail.com? Hey, who, who books the road? <laughs> who books the road? Oh, man. It's really easy. Uh, comedy. I uh, Just getting booked. I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly struggling. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right, folks, uh, we're down to our final five. Everybody watching, if you're watching on Bid Chat right now, if you're commenting on Facebook, if you think of a worse bird that we haven't talked about, please let us know. We'll add it to the list. Otherwise, we're going to stick with our final five, which is, of course, the pigeon, the grackle, the ostrich, the Canadian goose, and a seagull. A, I like, when I say that, and a seagull, it's like a specific seagull. And a seagull. <laughs> just nobody, this seagull right here. Nobody's ever seen just one The seagull. one from the rescuer no, that's ever... got that sardine can on his back. <laughs> that seagull. Yeah, seagull's probably the best. That's my seagull on front. That's my yeah, that, that That's is. a good... <laughs> I'm gonna fly. <laughs> oh, Bob Newhart's so great. I used to watch The Rescuers Down Under, which I think is actually better than The Rescuers. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I was finishing my uh, descent. <laughs> the, the madness. Um, Blue Jay. Blue Jordan, Jay. Jordan says Blue Jay and something uh, before. Blue that. Jay, Tweety, Turkey, 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 Blue Jay, very, Turkey, very uh, Thanksgiving, little, no. little gamey. We kind of like the. We took the chicken off pretty early, so I probably wouldn't say. But the country, the country of Turkey, no. Not the bird. Okay, Jordan. Ha. Ha ha. Hilarious, uh, Jordan. Jordan, you write for Bob and Tom, and that's what you can come up with. That seems about right. That's the oh, yeah, oh, 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 We're coming after you, Bob and Tom! Sing, take we're that. the new syndicated radio program on bitchat.com. <laughs> A dying program. <laughs> 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 uh, Alright, well, we'll add the Blue Jays. It was our only, unless we want to add the Crow. The crow, yeah, I think I think well, the blue jays do uh, steal other birds' nests. They eat oh, other yeah. birds' eggs. I don't know about the blue jay. Yeah, the, but the grackle does that too, and the, the, the grackle is ugly. And, and the it, grackle does some crow stuff, and it eats crops too. I don't even think there's a triple A team named after the grackle, so <laughs> yeah, I'll, that's I'll, not a good sign. I'll keep the blue jay off, and because uh, and, they're beautiful birds, they're big yeah. birds too. They're they're, they're large. Sorry, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> he met the six foot eight, thirteen year old. Um, 
I I would go for crow like crows are crows are scavengers. They're basically a turkey vulture might be a good one to Yeah, to vulture was another one I thought of like the buzzard. I even thought Turkey of, Buzzard. Some people call it turkey buzzard. I, I call it turkey vulture because I I'm not uh, But they're man. scavenger, they clean up. They clean up the stuff, right? So there's a dead animal and they eat it away so it cleans Yeah, and that's an important part. Pick your evolution. Of the, oh yeah, I guess the circle like of life. Parasite. I've seen the Lion King. I know how it works. I like a woodpecker. Now that's a bird I... I like woodpeckers, but some people don't like woodpeckers because they peck on their houses. They have a good laugh. <laughs> I, I forgot about Woody. I for, completely forgot about him. I, like, like, how much I watched the woodchuck, chuck the boy. How much? A, a lot. <laughs> that's a good amount. That's a good amount. A ton. We were, me and my friends, uh, my buddy was a... He was a geol studied to be a geologist, and we're at the hot springs in Colorado, and we're sitting in the springs. Yeah. And the lady's a geology professor that's also in the springs. Starts so talking to him. She goes, "Okay, so you're a geology student. How? Uh, and this is like his seventh major. He's been in college. <laughs> he's been flipping his family on a major. Oh, major. so he's like new to one. Yeah. So studies. she goes, "How deep is the magma that's heating the springs?" And he sits there for a second and goes, "Pretty deep." <laughs> 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 Did she take that as an answer? She just said, you, you don't know what you're doing, and I have no idea. <laughs> it goes down <clears throat> past the crust, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's like little like snippets of steam, I guess. I don't like steam, but this lets up a bit. I mean, it's way down there. That's it's, what it's, it's, way, it's way down there. Way it's down not there. close. It's not that close as you think. <laughs> Probably... We're not getting there anytime soon. I'd say I couldn't start, I couldn't I couldn't dig there, I don't think. I don't think I could dig there. How much No. Uh, <laughs> what's it say? Hey, I watch uh, I'm done with Jordan's still comment thing. I'm done with your Jordan comments. Uh, okay, so we're gonna add crow, not woodpecker, not duck. Uh, my goose is kind of a gross duck. Alright, crow. We're adding crow. crows. Crow. Um, Crow. This is Cedar Three Thousand. You guys ever? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go down the list one at a time, decide whether it's a top three worst bird. So that's gonna be a fun little part of the show that I have no name for. Uh, pigeon is a pigeon a top three worst bird? Nope. Really? Yeah, I'll leave pigeon off. They're they're rats of the sky. I'd say yes. He's from, well, again, Connor lives in New York right now, and yeah, Gabe lives in Cincinnati. Two oh, different pigeon experiences. Yeah, yeah. pigeons, they're everywhere. I am a city boy. Why, why, do pigeons, why do pigeons stay in the city so much? You don't see, like... Because homeless people feed them. No. And regular people feed them. And regular people. <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. Like, the wokest guy in Brooklyn. It's regular. Homeless and regular. Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant the homeless people are regular. <laughs> and regular homeless people feed them as well. Well, no, regular, I meant like people like who shit regularly. I, that's, that's I was the one that uh, made the distinction of homeless people, which is... which is. Gabe, no, what you, this is the most Canadian thing you're doing. So know, polite. Okay. <laughs> he said something wrong, and you're like, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I allowed I clearly set this up. I set a situation up where you could say something that was uh -huh. insensitive to... Yeah. Unsensitive? Dissensitive. To the plight... Of the homelessness. Uh, That's what this podcast. Yeah, I wonder about. why they do hang out more. But you don't, yeah, you don't see you don't see forest pigeons. The pigeons are so bad though; they're such a bad bird. They should be in the top three. You're right. I'm not convinced <laughs> of this. Because <laughs> what just happened here? They do, they you, you have to make certain little pointy things to keep them off. Yeah, of certain, like, yeah, because they're such a nuisance. With stuff, because I like climbing on those things. What right? other bird thing. do you have to change like? You, do you have to do that for it? Do you have to change, like, you know? I guess you put up scarecrows. Yeah. To keep the crows away. And the crows. Yeah, all right. And, well. Yeah, crows are like rural pigeons. Rural pigeons. Yeah. Crows are hillbilly pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and seagulls are like the pigeons of the sea. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're retired pigeons. They're, they're coastal red, pigeons. They're coastal they, pigeons. <laughs> yeah, they're all at the same family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> they live in Florida. I live here. I summer in Florida. Then I go up to uh, the Great Lakes <laughs> in the winter time. I gotta say, Jordan just wrote a long thing, and it says, oh. "Joe, can you lean in so I can see your face of disappointment when you start realizing that this message is just to make you lean in?" 
<laughs> it's pretty good. That nah, was pretty funny. He's got more. Jordan's the only one. You're a hillbilly pigeon. Thanks. Okay, well you ruined it. You had a great one, then you ruined it with a follow up. Jordan, I hope I hope you get lung cancer. <laughs> That's specific. Uh, yeah, but it's all right. Is he? A, I can is say he that, a smoke, right? Jordan. Is he a smoke? Jordan, do you smoke? <laughs> he just likes liking this. <laughs> <Just lighting. laughs> uh, uh, all right. Or maybe uh, he's liking that we want him to get lung cancer. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I donate to your GoFundMe. <laughs> Be more than some people get for that GoFundMe, which are serious. But, uh, <laughs> that's Wait, an inside joke. Lung cancer isn't a serious thing. No, never mind. I'll I'll stop talking. Uh, <laughs> Not for comics. It's called early retirement. There was a guy who started a GoFundMe. He's like, help my comedy career, and he needed he needed five thousand dollars, and he just started a month ago. And I was like, what? Uh, you what? only need that amount of money? Yeah. yeah. What was that? It's Did ten he, grand to move to New York. There was no yeah. reward program. But did he like have a breakdown of what the five thousand dollars was for? No, just to kind of help him out for posters for his tour. <laughs> <laughs> the comic go fund five thousand dollars worth of posters. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, Dude, someone is <laughs> taking you to just the bank. One really big po- a billboard. It's just one billboard in Lebonzi. Lebonzi, <laughs> I love that. Uh, Lake Winnipesaukee. That's in New Hampshire. That's a good little place. Check yeah, it out. I will check it out. I've heard of it before. I've yeah, my it. uncle lived there. Lake Winnipesaukee. He's, Sounds romantic. He's dead, he's dead now. Oh, um, rest in peace. I bet you they have seagulls so on Lake cut, Winnipesaukee. Cut up a lot. It's a rest in pieces. Cut up a lot. Cut up. <laughs> what's, <laughs> that? what's that option? I've heard Old of cremation. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, so we're saying pigeon top three. Worst bird. Yep. Yes. Uh, we'll go down the list. Grackle. Grackle top three worst bird. It seems that you guys are kind of anti-grackle. Like, you know it's an evasive bird, but you don't know the bird that well until just yeah. now. I don't think it's top three. I don't think it's top three. The crow's worse than a grackle, but the grackle is, it's it's a it's a POS bird, man. You need to watch out for the grackle. I'll tell you. Do, don't Just because it's off the list doesn't mean don't watch out for a grackle, alright? Yeah. They are, they, they kind of look like... Crows, but they got a little hue of blue to them. A little hue of blue. Ah, I just bumped them. them out of the top three. They're like, we made it, but we yeah. still ate these other birds. They're classy they're... crows. Classy crows that eat other birds. They're like, <laughs> eat other birds. Let's emphasize the point why it's on there. <laughs> Cannibal bird. The Cannibal classiest bird. of birds. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> a bird eating a bird would look terrible to see. Really? Just like pecking away at it? Oh yeah, or eating eggs or like baby birds. Yeah. Or I always, else. I, it's always weird because when you see a bird pecking, it always seems like the bird's going straight for the eye, like the least amount of food. Well, that's how you get it. That's the soft spot. They oh, know. to get they're the like, brain. Get in there, and then they're like, now we'll stop squirming because I got it in the eye. Yeah, that's fair. Birds that's learn. They learn. Birds learn. They learn how to learn bird. Little bird learn. Learn bird. Ostrich is ostrich a top three worst bird? Yes. No. I. Why do you say yes? Con. I hate the the way they bend. It's just weird. <laughs> the, way they bend, the way their legs are. It's like opposite to what it should be. It's it is one of the only birds up there that doesn't fly. Um, yeah. It can only run. Are they useless. are they the fast? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they can get going. So that that's I didn't know that was just some people said they were fast and they weren't fast, but can, they are actually. Can fast. you ride them, like in joust? I I feel like I feel like I only see that in sci-fi like fantasy shows where they ride mm-hmm. ostriches. But I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, I don't. I don't. If you can't ride, maybe if you're a baby. I have my daughter could ride an ostrich. Like they could have know, ostrich rides. Just the way they're all just like hey, kid, they're all just like standing in the water. They just look like a bunch of like mean high school girls. <laughs> <laughs> And they just bend down and they got those long nah. So you what are you thinking of flamingos? Yeah, oh. it's like you sounds like you're describing flamingos. Yeah, they're the same thing. No, same well, thing. I can't imagine I don't I would sort of regret having someone who did a documentary about a costumed teenager in my worst bird thing just because it was a big bird. I was like, I think you may not know anything about birds, Colin. Yeah, I put them in the same category. Ostriches <laughs> and flamingos, they're the same. Big group. bird. Big bird. They're all they're big birds. Uh, okay, uh, so you're saying yes, you're saying no. Why do you say no, Ostrich isn't a top three worst bird? 25 comments from Jordan so far. Jeez, yeah, he's been crushing it. Uh, <laughs> but, so why do we're I think- at 260 views on BitChat right now, with 110 likes. Oh, nice. Hi, BitChat. What is BitChat? How many of those likes are from Jordan? 
Well, he does not use BitChat. He barely oh, he uses Facebook. Is BitChat uh, part of Bitcoin? No, 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 no. Two different things. So BitChat is something you can watch it, and then you can call in. We do an auction to call it. And when they call in, then we can have a discussion uh, in person, live. And uh, But the money they is send it, to me, is that part of that proceeds goes to a charity. What? Oh, do you get to pick the charity? Is there just like I can, charity? but I kind of like BitChat pick the charity because I have nothing I feel that strongly about. This cat is so friendly. The charity I yeah, choose is the Donald case. J. Trump Foundation. That's oh, can charity. I do that? Yeah, that's the charity. This guy probably needs it. Trump University, bring back Trump University is really... That's a good GoFundMe. Jenna, where's Bird? Bye, bye. Birdie. Uh, bye, bye, Jesus Birdie. Jesus Christ, Jenna. Jordan Dimas is calling in. Jordan, go on BitChat. I'm not answering the phone. I'm not. I, that'll end the Facebook Live thing if I answer the phone, Jordan. Do you have Gabe's number? Call Gabe. He doesn't have my number. Then don't, Wait, don't. I take it back. Ostrich, you can ride an ostrich, so they're not. <laughs> you can? Yeah, especially the males who become aggressive as they get older. To ride an ostrich, visit one of the ostrich show farms in... Out, out shorn South Africa. So we, yeah. You gotta go to South Africa. That's where, well, luckily, this is where we're filming. It's in South Africa. So we can just walk right out, get in an ostrich, and go to beautiful Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Yeah, I take back my previous statement. So you don't think an ostrich is the top three worst bird because no. you can ride it? Yeah. That's, that's simply the, the make or break moment. I mean, that's point. pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I still don't like their meat. <laughs> okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, all right, we're taking ostrich off the off the list here. We're down. Uh, we only have one of the top three. We got three more to go. Oh, we only have one in pigeon so far. Yeah, we took grackle and uh, ostrich off. We have three left. Two, I think, two of these three are definitely going to be. They're they're definitely worse than grackle and uh, ostrich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I next, think this is a good three. The Canadian yeah. goose. Do you think the Canadian goose is the top three worst bird? Yes. Coming from a Canadian. Yes. He's an expert. He's an expert, expert on, in Canada. I'm an expert on and birdology birds. and smoking weed and man, geese are the worst. No, they're just they're not <laughs> nobody even in Canada likes Canada geese. They, they why is the name? I heard one time I heard it wasn't named after Canada, it was named after this guy named Joe Canada. <laughs> and that they're not even Canadian. And then I looked it up, and I was like, "That's an urban. That's an urban legend. That's not true. There's no Joe Canada that makes <laughs> this, this, this is a campaign Canada made up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get away from, to get away from the Canadian. Goose. They made up a person. They're like Joe Canada. Yeah, he, he was from him. Detroit. He was from <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> so that's how bad that bird is. That there was a false narrative. There's a there's a false narrative. It's like uh, his name was Jake Canada. That's the whole. Uh, Jenna Bradley saying geese are misunderstood. And those geese Canada, those Canada goose coats are too expensive. Do we get down feather stuff from geese? I don't know where it comes from, but the, those Canada goose jackets that are all cool now, they're like 500 bucks for a coat. So you just want one because it's cool now? No, I don't want one. I think <laughs> well, it's outrageous. if it was cheaper, I think you'd get one. No, I wouldn't. Well, then why don't you get the price? Because I, I think they're robbing people. <laughs> they're they're robbing robbing people. people. So you think it shouldn't be in the top three? The I, think goose, I, think, I think the goose. I think goose are one of the scariest birds out there. Yeah. You walking down. You walk down a trail and there's a goose on the one side of the trail. You are doing one of those like Mission Impossible. Like you're on the wall. Yeah. You just don't see me. Don't see me. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Do you want my wallet? Here's my wallet. We're cool. And then the goose. This is my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> the goose is like, I'm Canadian. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna me. steal your wallet. <laughs> you keep your wallet. <laughs> Yeah, they're just like so nice. It's annoying. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, when you, like, when you go to your your like friend's house, and the mom's like, "Are you hungry? I can make something. Are you hungry? Like, no, I'm not hungry. You want no. coffee? You want anything? Your mom's totally goosing me. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. A uh, honk. Uh, I'm so sorry. I just... <laughs> so Canadian goose for saying top three worst bird. Yes. Okay. Stays, stays in there. Continuing on the list, seagull is a seagull a top three worst bird. I can't. Well, I guess they're going between one. seagull and crow. Which worse, a seagull or a crow? I yeah. Can't, I can't decide whether or not uh, seagulls shitting on people at the beach is a positive or a negative. I think. Well, are you a beach guy? Do you go to the beach? You look like a no. beach guy. You look like you surfed a wave. No, I can't do anything. This guy no looks one. like he surfed a wave. This guy looks like he's boogie boarded. 
No. This guy. Boogie Boy, you went from surfing to Boogie Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you went from... He's a banana boat kind of guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy's been in an inner tube. This guy's been... <laughs> You went in a water park, you gone down a slide, right? This, this guy's got a rubber ducky, I tell you. This, you you like take baths? This you like take more sunscreen? <laughs> no, I'll tell you, I'm a fucking regular surfer. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, 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 right the way. What was that? That's Captain <laughs> Surfer. Oh. He's got it, man. You sound like that girl from Mad TV. <laughs> oh, oh. Who was that? You know, they said uh, one lady in Mad TV. I don't know who. What's that? Plays. Mad TV. Mad TV. No, Wait, was that Miss Swan? Not Miss Swan. That's, not that's Swan. about birds. There was a we girl. Miss Swan. Miss Swan. Swan. Yeah, let's bring her back. She is the worst bird. She's the worst. Miss Swan, if you're watching, I'm so, oh, she's not a real person. Uh, person who was Miss Swan, who voices Lois and Family Guy. Uh, your name's not very memorable, so I apologize. Oh, you you're know. the worst bird. Very talented. Talented. PETA. That's my only impersonation I can do. Is her. PETA. I can just do that one word. PETA. <laughs> we have to go over That's people my impression. With bird names. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. What's her name? Someone, Jordan. Uh, go do some research for us. Yeah, Google right? what what it. What's Lois's name? What's she's Lois? on Mad TV. She's a. She's just a nice lady. Jordan, you're basically the intern. It's something yeah, show, you right? become Horowitz. the intern. It's, it's like something like Horowitz or something. I think that's what I think it's saying. yeah, I think it's Liam Horowitz. Yep. We're going with that. Um, <laughs> so I'd say because of the pooping at the beach, that puts me in the crow is top three worst birds. I'm gonna leave seagulls off because even though seagulls are the crows of the sea, uh, they do have some positive that no one's trying to no, no one's making a scare seagull. Like, no one's scaring seagulls away. They feed them bread. Sometimes you can feed a seagull alka seltzer and it'll explode. I don't know if you guys know that little trick. Okay, yeah. That takes them out of the top. Let me, let, me, let me paint a picture here about the seagull. Paint. You're sitting the seagull. You're sitting on the seagull. You're, You're sitting on a seagull. <laughs> enjoying the beach. You're in your little sardine can in the back of the seagull. You lay down you fly your towel, you got your cooler. All the way to Australia, and you got a girl who you you love her, but she doesn't know you have those feelings about her. You're wearing <laughs> a little red sweater, your jacket. You're just a regular old Bob Newhart. I uh, who who was the who was the voice of the the girl mouse? It was somebody uh, not Jaja ja Gabor, but something like that. Yeah, I think it, I think it was. Was Jaja ja ja Gabor? Gabor? Yeah. I mean, what a what a classy lady that Jaja ja was. I can't picture who that is. I know that name. Gucci. Yeah, she slapped cops before it was cool, right? Yeah. That was her big. She got in trouble because she, she slapped, slapped cops the before Eddie Belfour slapped the cop. Oh, that's right, <laughs> yeah. That's where Eddie Belfour got it from. Uh, <laughs> that's a good uh, rank you very much. It's top ten people that have slapped Slap cops. cops. Yeah. <laughs> that's Best it. cop slapper. I'd get testy. <laughs> like, well, the, the cops aren't here. It's not like, and here's one cop who got slapped by John. I don't want to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. So Thomas, Michael, Michael Br brings some cops. <laughs> <laughs> brings some cops. Someone puts Michael Brown up there, going, "Oh, oh well, he, you know, I don't think he hit anybody." Christ. I wouldn't want to bring him in that. <laughs> the wokest guy in Brooklyn, Garrett Gardner. Uh, I never heard of him, Mike Gardner. I uh, <laughs> I slap him. <laughs> Worst bird. Let's put Mike Gardner. Mike right Gardner's there. actually won every rank you very much. It's the worst. They don't know how it happened. He always he uh, is the worst everything. <laughs> but uh, I saw. So, uh, here's let me paint a picture. You're you're sitting you're sitting on the beach. You're eating a sandwich. You go to lay down. You put your sandwich on your cooler next to you. Next thing you know, seagull confident because it gets fed all the time. Just takes your sandwich. Seagulls steal food from people all the time. That to the point that when you're to the point when you're outside and there's seagulls around, you never feel too comfortable because they get too close. They invade your space real easily. But I feel like a crow, I would feel unsafe around a crow, but I would never feel unsafe around a seagull. Oh, I feel unsafe around seagulls. I'll feel like they peck you. I don't feel like they'll take my food, but I'll just be like, eh, hey, well, maybe I should uh, just hold on to my sandwich. <laughs> that's, that's on me. Yeah, that's on me. You're taking a, a Canadian approach to it. Mm-hmm. Just hold on to your sandwich. <laughs> hold on to your sandwiches. Goggles down. Yeah, that's the in for a wild ride at the beach. That's, just the beach. that's the motto of the beach. Hold on. I just got to plow through these Canadian geese. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. To I'm on my the... boogie board. Time to hold on to my sandwich. Until <laughs> we get to the seagulls. 
Um, okay, all right. You guys convinced me. We'll take seagulls off the list. Oh, Surprise. so we kept crows. Crows snuck in to Whoa. the top, top three. Mr. Science Theater 2000, you guys remember? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, re- yeah. I remember when you tried that earlier. Yeah, well, they <laughs> say remember? They say uh, uh, rule of three, so just wait. Or rule of Just infinity. wait for the next Who one. Who is this they? <laughs> oh, it's a guy. It's a guy <laughs> that wrote all the comedy books. It's, a, it's, it's, not, a, class. it's not a regular person, it's a homeless person. <laughs> He's just on the street. Rule of three! I didn't mean it. Wow. The rule of three is when you ask a headliner three times if he can take you on the road, he'll say <laughs> yes the third time. Right? I think that's the rule of three. I feel like every movie I've ever seen, if someone's brainwashed, all I've learned is, it's me, remember? And if you say that enough times, eventually they go, oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I totally remember you. Uh, you said it was so much more intensity. Uh, okay, we're down to our final three. Crow, Pigeon, and... Canadian Goose. I gotta ask you guys, which one of those three doesn't seem like it should be in the final two? We know it's not gonna be the Canada Goose, because what, what are we repping here? USA, people! USA. USA. There's no American Goose. It's called the Bald Eagle. It'll tear your eyes out. Um, I'm taking crows off. Yeah, I'll take crows off. That crows. So there's it's down a, to geese and pigeons. Yeah, there's, there's a movie about I think that makes sense. Geese versus, versus, I, think, I think this whole thing was to come down to geese versus pigeon. And I just drew marker all over my jeans. <sighs> sure, that that's what that is. What else would it be? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Alright, I do alt comedy. Uh, <laughs> Alternative to comedy. <laughs> 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 Sorry if I'm too edgy for you. <laughs> With my marker material on your jeans. <laughs> the edge of the marker, you know what I mean? You didn't laugh, but I made my mark. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an applause break? Uh, that's a that's my thing. I ask for applause breaks. So I ask know, for I, 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 say I like to say, get them clapping, 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 get them clapping. Yeah, you know, clapping, I got no laughs, but I got six applause breaks. <laughs> My favorite part about comedy is when one person claps and they go, oh, an applause break. And I'm like, no, that's your mom. Uh, sorry. I, I like, the, I like the, 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 the joke, a long pause, awkward pause, like one person, and then like two other people. <laughs> and the person's like, yep, yeah, nailed it. That point got across. That's my new closer. Or just a pause and, uh, oh, too dirty? It's too dirty? Oh. Can I just... I just want to tell you what this guy just commented. I'm going to read it verbatim of what he typed. Yes. If by this guy you mean Jordan, I don't want to. It's a guy named TV. Okay. Take all of your crows off. Take all of your crows off. It's getting hot in here. (laughs) Okay, we didn't have to do it. It (laughs) (laughs) I got you, man. I like a good pun. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm coming to the hunty. Uh. Hanty. Alright. Alright, Quit showing off your abs, Connor. I have, we all have the same torso, I bet. Torsos of. Wow, well, we have the same organs. <laughs> They're in yeah, the same torso. You don't know what I got in here. <laughs> I've got eight ribs. I have three cow heart. Joe's all shoulders. I'm all shoulders. I'm actually, it's, this is one big shoulder in the middle. Uh, in the middle. <laughs> just a middle shoulder. And then my dick's like an arm. Am I right? Am uh, I right? Crows. All right, we're down to our final two, folks. Pigeons versus Canadian Goose. And as always, the most important part, we come to the big vote at the end. Gabe, what's worse, a Canadian Goose or a Pigeon? Canadian Goose. I'm going with the Canada Goose. Connor, what's worse, Canadian Goose or the Pigeon? Pigeon. Oh, looks like it's New York versus a country. (laughs) (laughs) So, okay, guys, I'm the tiebreaker here. I usually am the middle person, but I feel like I knew you were going to say Pigeon, and I knew you were going to say Canadian Goose. I kind of felt safe going that route. Explain why that bird is worse. Why is a pigeon worse than a Canadian goose? 
I feel like pigeons are so prevalent, but add nothing. Wow. Simple to the point. Arrogance. Why is a Canadian goose? Arrogance. You never see a pigeon crossing the road being like, no, I can cross the road right here. This is where this is where I'm crossing. I'm a pigeon. You've heard of me. I represent all of the big cities. Not just New York. There's pigeons in Paris, Berlin. You go to you go to Florence, pigeons. So Pigeons, but they're not as arrogant as the Canadian geese. All the right. Canadian geese are. There's, there's no pigeon crossing inside. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. vote for worst bird, and uh, my decision was made pretty easily there. Canadian goose is the worst bird for being an arrogant asshole. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the arrogance. I'm crossing the road. I don't care what anybody's got to say. <laughs> All right, folks. Canadian goose. That is the winner of the worst bird. Uh, and I'll be honest, they probably wear that like a badge of like pride. Oh, yeah. They, they, the worst. It doesn't bother them at all. They're like, yeah, we already know that. If you would have put pigeon, we would have killed all the pigeons. And then flew back to Canada. I would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go after the loons next. That's oh, the, the loons. That's not a bad bird. That's a good bird. That's a great... The loons actually have, a loon has uh, solid bones, not hollow bones, so it can dive underwater. It's a submarine bird. Ooh, and I didn't know that. It, yeah, if you're ever uh, swimming in a lake in Canada and a loon goes underwater, there's nothing scarier than knowing there's a bird under this <laughs> water. Yeah, and they, they, they can't, like, their swimming is just like, burr, 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 burr. so it's just this, like, beak coming at you. And, uh, yeah. Man. I can't wait to have Gabe back in a while for Best Bird. <laughs> Loon! <laughs> number one! Uh, thank you so much, Gabe Connor, for being on the show. Thank you very much, Worst Bird, Canadian Goose. Uh, Gabe, Gabe is currently this weekend headlining at Crackers, Broad Ripple. I'm hosting for him. Very funny. Do you have anything yes. you want to plug, like a website, Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff? Uh, next week, this week I'm headlining Crackers and Broad Ripple. Next week I'll be hosting Liberty <laughs> Funny Bone. So if you want to know how comedy works, I'll teach you about it. Hosting <laughs> next week, headlining this week. That's how I do it. What about our web website? <laughs> Instead of the sadness and depressing, like I, I things aren't going as well as I hoped. I no, they're going fine. I was just making fun. I'm being a little self-deprecation, <laughs> right? We can do that. Comedy. Uh, okay. Well, you can find him on Facebook under Gabe Kia and friend him and do all that stuff. Uh, Gabe Kia and over to the right, folks, from the big city, New York City. That's what it's called. Yeah, I, don't know. I just, I just call it home. Uh, uh, but no, I'm from here. This is my home city. Uh, well, we are in Indianapolis, if you don't know. Uh, Connor, oh, yeah, I didn't know this was like Bob and Tom, where you're not supposed to say that you're in Indianapolis. You're in Indy. Oh, no, no. We're, we're, not, not. So we're, we're talking about traffic. That's one of the things we challenge Bob and Tom because we stay where we're from. We say it with pride. Yeah, Indianapolis. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm on. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm bad at all that. You can just email me. Um, just, <laughs> what's your email? I think I figured out why yeah. you're bad at it. How about you email me, then I'll tell you where I am on social yeah, media. Yeah, you right now. Yeah, like Connor, my cut out the middleman. Cut out your own middleman. Yeah, Connor Dalianti at Gmail. Just email if you got questions, concerns, thoughts, ideas. Um, <laughs> Connor, the, this is the worst promotions I've ever seen of two guests I've had on the thing. Abe Lincoln t-shirt on Instagram. That's my uh, Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's where you'll see uh, pictures of my daughter. And uh, if you want to get political, <laughs> jump over to Twitter. That's where I get really, that's where I get really libtarded. Uh, Gabe, at Gabe Kia. And then Snapchat. Gabe and then, Kia. Uh, yeah, so my Instagram is just <laughs> at Connor Delahancy if you want to see other pictures of Gabe's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, you can follow me on Twitter at JoeAmerica22. As always, bitchat.com every Saturday at 1 p.m. at Joe Bates Comedy. Uh, next week, I will not be doing a show because my girlfriend's sister is getting married and that wedding is that day, so I have to go to that. My girlfriend's officiating a lesbian wedding, so I have to act like I'm cool with everything. Oh, they can uh, step on a glass, right? I that's think, they, I that's don't a know. Jewish thing. Yeah, is, she, is my girlfriend Jewish? I think. Oh, she's never told me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did but, you ever ask? 
Yeah, you gotta be more. You can't <laughs> learn. Uh, all right, you can follow me on Instagram at Joe Bates Comedy again. Gabe's daughter's all over it, and uh, <laughs> and find me on Facebook. We do the Facebook Live. You can comment live on Facebook while we do the show, which is fantastic. And thank you for watching another episode of Rank You Very Much. Where's Bird Canadian Goose? That's Rank You Very Much. You're welcome. Have a good night. Lady number one. Number one.